Jó. Hey, hi, Nikolaj. Although um, I'm not sure if it is uh, going to join. Uh, I think he said something like uh, he won't be able to. I don't know if you have any other information about it. Andre. Sorry, I was muted. No, I don't have any information about uh, his intent to join or not. You can wait a few minutes, I think. Uh, yeah. Uh, who, who shares usually? I mean... Uh, it's first time, actually. <laughs> when yeah. we do it with a Zoom. Uh, usually, Ed shares his screen. Uh -huh. Okay. If you want me, I can yeah. share a browser with the issues and we can check what's going on. Yep, yep. Sounds good. Okay, I guess we we don't have any, like any notes, meeting notes, etc. So yeah, I mean, yeah. Let's just go into into this. Uh, I don't know if we should wait, but I don't think that anyone else is going to join. <clears throat> okay, uh, let's go and see what happens here with the issues. Uh, so, uh, first of all, uh, we did merge the, yeah, it seems like it was passing. Uh, okay, so that's good. Uh, master is green, that's a good start. Um, how do you know which are the new, okay, so I assume that these are the new issues like since the last week. Uh, metrics doesn't report uh, how my CMP failing test was reported or reporting spending monthly. Uh, okay, uh, is this something about the VPP not uh, sending? Fix, but you can't manage that because the first one to recover is urgent. Okay. Okay, so this is clear. Like, okay. At least we know what we should do. Uh, okay, I read through this and I agree in general that we probably can and probably should slim, slim the example down. Uh, but uh, on the same time, we need to probably have another dedicated example where we can examine a little bit of scaling. Okay, that's not a great scaling, but still it's like six, uh, six containers uh, with the sidecars and etc. So it's, uh, it's something. Probably it's not the best way to test it. Maybe we should have something that's dedicated that runs only on the, on the bare metals. Uh, but yeah, uh, so I don't know what the plan is here, but uh, I do agree that probably we, we can just go and slim this down and uh, if this helps uh, the CI passing, then this would be good. And, uh, trying to think if we can have a more dedicated scalability of testing, which is just targeting to have uh, to test. How do we scale? Probably uh, we just need to test it with our integration tests instead of a helm and for it simply just have different cases which is more easy to check 
Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, I do agree. Yes. Yeah. I'll add a comment to it. Uh, probably to not forget. But I think uh, it's important to have example test now. No, no, we could have an example test, but with no, not the four clients and two endpoints. But you mean we should one. test scalability with Go? Yeah, we test ah, scalability that... with Go, but not with Helm. Uh, oh, that's not fine. with not with shell script. Uh, that's okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to prepare a cluster here to only one node. Oh, is this a result already or? What? No, no, just mentioned. Ah, it's just yeah. mentioned. Yes, that's the reason why CI failed. That one note. That's something strange and sometimes I see it on master. Uh -huh. I yeah. didn't find the root cause. Is this something with, uh, because only one node sounds like something that cloud test should be dealing with? I'm not sure, I need to check, but I see that only one Spire agent deployed, which means that probably only one node exists. Uh -huh. So I don't know why I need to check, it, investigate. A little bit more, okay. Good. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, wait for port available can spin infinitely. Questions uh, with yeah. cancelling. I think the cancel should be properly handled in this case. Mm -hmm. Version kind. Then okay, the latest kind is uh, zero okay, seven. How, how I think it uh, don't depend on version of a kind. Uh -huh. Question of how we handle the request yeah. in this case. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so apparently, yeah, it's just a corner case that usually, yeah. Um, okay, do we want to do anything specific? Any assignments, any yeah, labels? Here? Let's assign it to uh, RTM, I think. Ah, Just work yeah. it on the inter domain, and probably it will be easy to check if the counseling is properly handled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any. Testing no. Oh, no. Okay, all labels for the time being. Uh, okay, so these were the the, the, the new ones. Uh, are there any uh, from the old ones that 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 need some discussion? Do you have anything that you want to discuss from the from the previous ones? Mm, I think we have just one pull request, which is still pending. It's a uh, interdomains, and I wanted to add to say all or Frederick to say a final word. Mm -hmm. Should we merge it already or not? Uh, Artem, did you have a chance to rebase it uh, to the latest? 
As I remember uh, last time it failed uh, because of uh, uh, some chart, uh, not yeah, chart, but yes, examples. Testing in progress. Testing in progress. Okay. Oh. You just rebase it. Last time it just failed because of uh, yeah. I think some examples, shell scripts which is merged uh, with uh, Ilya fix. Okay. Great. Uh, so, is there something here that that we want to talk about? Spire, the main explosive. Or actually, that's uh, there are a lot of want fix labels after stalebot, I guess. Right. Yeah. I think we should in that issues at least with Spire in the <laughs> title. Oh, I mean, uh, 2005 to 2006. Uh -huh. I just noticed that there won't fix. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This probably is the bot, as you said. Uh, oh, so these are uh, ongoing. Uh, Maybe we should close close this one because it doesn't happen last time, and there were a couple of fixes for similar problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's quite old, actually. Okay, yeah, indeed. I, I haven't seen this this lately. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, there are a ton of others, but this one particular, no. Uh, yeah, I do agree. Uh, any ob objections about closing this one? No. It's not that label. Uh, it's pretty important for every single Just choose here. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, first, what, um, what I think it was every first way, yes, until the end of the year, so, which uh, in general it's okay because you know, like, you always. Okay, so, is there, is there something uh, going in this direction? I mean, is there a PR? I don't see anything assigned. It's not Wednesday. Wednesday, not really the busiest because there is also no seat. There is a conference. Hello? Yeah, yeah. I think it should be PR. Yeah. Yeah, muted. Oh, sorry, I was muted. Uh, no, there is no PR yet, but I'm working on it right now. I just didn't put so, the changes. Yeah, just put. Uh, we need to put. Ah, yeah, okay, so. I, re I removed it, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think it's better to add pin, pin yeah. or something like that. Uh, Lab. Where was pin? Yeah. Ah, yeah. First okay. okay. Uh, okay, where's the load register? I guess this one is also going to be pinned. All right. Yes. Okay. Um, okay, it's something very. Uh, Just waiting for feature becomes better yeah. in Kubernetes. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do, do you know when, when this is planned to become? Actually, I didn't find you could search the name of the feature that was well, or, so yes it's, uh, it's alpha yeah it's yeah. alpha since 13 yeah there is no information about beta okay go for it <clears throat> okay um good so this one is clear uh, 
Oh, so, so we're talking about the floating interdomain. Uh, Fred, we were just uh, wondering what we can do with the floating interdomain, which is pending on... So we have two approvals, and then we have a couple more. Uh, but I think that at least the people on this call yeah, yeah, uh, right? actually kind of agree that this can wow. go in. So well, maybe it's yours or it's go on when this this is this one is merged. I think it should be merged because uh, since we're in progress of SDK yeah, 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 yeah. refactorings yeah, yeah. and uh, it's a plenty of changes. They are not very complicated, but yeah, probably just should have to make all this code in sync. Yeah. I mean, this is something that is going to be changing, I guess, until we get it. It's running for quite some time Since already, I guess. I hope it will pass. Newsletter. I was just looking for the newsletter. <laughs> oh. Is it I apologize. Or? My uh, my alarm so did not go off, so I'm I'm around. Yeah, um, I was saying that that this this specific PR, uh, which is the floating in the domain, is here for some time, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it unfortunately failed. What? That's interesting. Okay. So we we were saying that once this uh, this PR finishes, it's um, very basic Achim, successfully. Could we please check? It's strange. Yeah. <laughs> What's the Docker target? Uh, okay. It might be related to my recent changes. Docker list is the target I made recently. Uh, how these changes could be <laughs> here? Well, it's rebased or I don't know. I will look at this. Okay, please sync with Artyom. Okay. I guess the easiest thing is to just go and look. Yeah, so my intent is to wait for it to be at least yeah. green and after it merged. Because it was green some time ago before the yeah. basis. Yeah. And the more we wait, the harder the basis yeah, become. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's just. Oh. Let's see. Uh, Let's just see uh, if we, when we can merge that. Uh, okay. Um, what else was here? Uh, cloud test test doesn't get rescheduled when cluster fails. Is this oh, something that is fixed and we can close this? Okay. Forward the service to common package, move endpoint service to common package. Uh, what about this? Uh, is this something that is ongoing? Ah, it is actually. Uh, so it's, uh, yeah, pull request, but uh, I'm not sure if we still need to push it since we plan to switch to a new SDK. It's just some refactoring and cleanups. Mm -hmm. In the current uh, SDK implementation, so probably we just could close it. I will just remove the one fix and leave the question here so that we can go once more. Against it, uh, I don't know. I mean, that's uh, this is forwarder is a common package. Okay, is this the same? But for the forwarders, 
Yes. Mm, yeah. Okay. Okay. This will give us some time to think. <laughs> Let's see where, where this we went. Uh, again, and of course, I guess that once we switch to the new SDK, this will automatically become obsolete. So, uh, yeah, SMD doesn't recover connection. Uh, oh, that's that's interesting. Let's see. Um, single JPC server new socket for all clients. Created, which might be expensive. I still so for the cost. From the okay, is this blocked on something? Uh... Well, the the feature is blocked because the there are some slight but architectural changes needed, and we uh -huh. were waiting while Ed would, Ed would something suggest us whether we should move with that architectural changes, and it just still in that state since like more, uh, weeks, three weeks or more. Yeah. Okay. I will just remove one fix for now so that uh, if we forget about this, uh, the stale bot will remind us by parking okay. it again. Uh, so let's uh, keep it like this. I guess it's not the best way to proceed. Uh, Could you please remove one fix here? Uh, because pull request is already um, ready just didn't pass few tests. Uh, oh, okay. Yes, I will. Um, let me just see what this is. Should go with the and multiple process with custom properties to get into a new feature to function. Oh, okay. Just give me the problems, proxy, enable to more proxy, more to access. Okay. Uh, of course, I will remove it. There's no problem with that. Um, oh, so which of these are actually? So this in the that we have two open PRs for this, right? Uh, so these are the fixes that come from team, and these are the fixes that we are trying to. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. I have to obviously do my work here too, but um, should we obsolete this one? And say that it effectively is suppressed by... I think my changes already include his... Uh... Mm -hmm. with a little bit uh, changes. Okay, I'm closing it and let's see what, uh, what goes on here. Okay, I obviously have to go and check what it is. But okay, yes, good. and it also has some issues here. Does it need a, a rebase? Yes, it needs a rebase. Uh, we, yeah, uh, I think. Uh, Ilya already made fix for broken tests. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's seven hours ago. Yeah, I guess. So. Okay, then let's go with this, and then we will. Uh, okay, so given this, we, are, uh, we have only one one fix that we have here. Uh, this issue is fixed, and we can pause in this. Okay. Uh, do you know where it, ah, it's merged here? Okay. Um, uh, 
Great. Okay. So, um, yeah, we don't have uh, any one fixes. I don't see the chat. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, this is something that um, uh, Ed discovered. And so, okay. Uh, so one of the things that uh, we're going to try to do is we had the project board where we had it within the network service mesh project itself. Okay. We're going to try migrating uh, issues and PRs that we're tracking uh, that across, especially if they cross multiple repos onto a project level one, rather, sorry, uh, yeah, a, an organizational yeah. level board rather than a project level board. So I wanted to point people at this to take a look at it. Uh, it's not if I'm going over it right now, but uh, this is a um, uh, this is a spot where we can use to track some of uh, of everything that's going on as well. Okay. Uh, is there something in to do that we need to move to in progress here? Oh, this is uh, yes. the... the first issue uh, is in progress. Oh. Uh, this one. Uh, yes, and second one also in progress. Okay. Uh -huh, I see. So this yeah. is on the on, on the top level. Okay, I get it. So that that yeah, can take have visibility. I see. Oh, okay. Yeah, and, and the purpose of it as well is uh, is it's less for this for this group. Although I think it'll be helpful for this group. Uh, it's also we're we're going to make an effort to get the uh, community more involved over time, so this will give them an easy place to to jump in as well and work out like what uh, what major things are pending that, that they can try to to make use of, and especially with the SDK fat, uh, refactor that should like I know it's a little bit uh, uh, bumpy right now, but once all that stuff's done, it should be a lot easier for people to implement stuff. And so we want to make it as easy as possible to onboard people. So that's part of the part of the idea behind this. Okay, makes sense. Good. Uh, I guess that we have to just uh, flow into the next call. <laughs> no. Yep. Uh, so okay, thank you. I think that was that was useful. Uh, I hope it will be we'll manage to streamline this maybe a little bit more. Okay, I will leave this one for me to follow up. Uh, okay, so some yeah, like and, and, hmm? and any ideas that the team has to to help with overall processes and management. Uh, and, and it doesn't have to be adding, it can be removing things. Uh, like definitely let us know so we can you know, try, to, try to make everyone's lives easier. Okay. Uh, I see people started to join. Just share the meeting minutes. I'm just curious, will it be the one video on YouTube or two? Uh -huh. How it works? Oh, I don't know. I guess we're about to see. <laughs> Okay, uh, do we have any pressing topics that we wanted to discuss, uh, except for the floating interdomain, I guess, or anything else? Okay. 
Fred, do you want to take over here? Sure, just waiting for a few more people to join in. So we'll start around around five after. And just a reminder that this call is uh, recorded and it will be posted onto YouTube. We'll get started in, um, in about a minute or so. Great, let's get started then. So welcome to the next Network Service Mesh meeting. Uh, we have this meeting every uh, Monday at uh, 8 a.m. Pacific time. We also have a Asia-friendly meeting at uh, 3 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, the last call was uh, today. Um, and the next call will be uh, in two weeks. Um, we also participate in the CNCF Telecom User Group, and I, I apologize, my mind, uh, it's not 3 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, I'll, get the, I'll get the actual time in a few moments. We also participate in the Telecom User Group, which occurs every first Monday at 8 a.m. Pacific and every third Monday at 3 a.m. Pacific. 
We also participate in the CNCF SIG network, which occurs every first and third Thursday of every month at 11 a.m. Uh, interlaced with the uh, with the Kubernetes SIG networking meeting. We have uh, information on both of these in the agenda. We are participating in KubeCon and Cloud NativeCon Europe in Amsterdam. We are waiting for the uh, CFPs, which should be out tomorrow. Um, there is a list of, C of CFPs, which uh, we are trying to keep track of what was posted. So if you could add your talk, if it is related to telecom, networking, or CNFs, to Taylor's spreadsheet, which is also listed in the agenda, that'd be fantastic. Um, we also have NSMCon, which is at KubeCon EU, which is a co-located event on May 30th. Uh, highlights include we have a larger room and uh, we have prospectus and information for CFP on the, on the website that is linked from here. So the CFP is currently open, closes February 21st. And if you also, if you uh, posted a talk that is NSM related, and if it does not get into the NSM, main, uh, sorry, to the Kubernetes main track, uh, we highly encourage you to uh, resubmit it into NSMCon as well. Uh, the number of talks available at uh, at KubeCon tend to be uh, percentage wise. Uh, the number of talks accepted is is very low, just simply because of the number of slots that they have. Uh, and um, we also have sponsorship information there as well. There is also the Open Networking and Edge Summit, North America, which will be in Los Angeles that is uh, coming up in April, April 20th through 21st. The CFP closes on Monday, February 3rd. So make sure you have your talk ready to submit there if you intend to be in Los Angeles. Um, before, before we move on, uh, Nikolai, are you able to post the, uh, the CF, the new project board uh, under the announcement page? Sorry, that was the wrong button. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> okay. Something like this. Yeah, perfect. Thank you very much. And so there's a new project page that now exists. So we, we're in the process of uh, separating out uh, network service mesh to multiple repos. And so a project level board no longer suffices. And GitHub has a new feature, which is organizational level project boards that continues to work with uh, with uh, issues and, and so on. So uh, there is, so this new project board, um, it has a couple of uh, nice things, which is where we're keeping track of uh, issues and pull requests with this. And so uh, and that'll also, uh, that'll also make it easy. So if you're wondering about what can you jump in that, uh, that will help push the project forward uh, in, a, in a timely way, then these are these are currently active, currently wanted PRs that uh, that can help guide you in as well. So uh, the new SDK that's being created uh, should make this stuff a lot uh, a lot easier to to work with. So. With that, we have the social media community team. Um, the social media community team are, are not able to attend when there is a CNF 
sorry, a, a, a CNCF uh, uh, talk meeting. And so uh, I'll take over for, uh, for them today. Uh, we have an additional 14 followers. We are following six more people. Uh, now this is particularly interesting because this is an inflection point where we got more pe people follow following us than than us following others in terms of the number of changes. So that's that's a nice inflection point that we just hit. Uh, we also added 12 more 12 more tweets. Um, finally, we also. Uh, we, we posted multiple uh, things on Kubernetes transparency re, uh, report, the uh, CNCF announcements about CFPs for various open events, uh, more on NSMCon, and uh, and more uh, information on our on our Austin meetup, which uh, may be the first NSM uh, Meetup. It depends on whether it's uh, NSM related or if it's uh, a cloud native meetup. I'm not sure which. And uh, with and finally with that, there we also uh, posted information about the new weekly PR review meeting, uh, which which also reminds me, uh, I under the announcements, uh, well, I'll, I'll add this in as well at seven. 30 a.m. Pacific time, right before this call, we are holding an issues pull request meeting. So these, this is purely for things that are actively being worked on. They're not architectural uh, decision meetings. They're, we kept the time down to 30 minutes to prevent architecture from being discussed. Um, and so, if you if you would like to uh, join in and help and ask questions or you'd like to join in and uh, and try to take on an issue or PR and you need some guidance, this is the meeting to do it. It is on the same bridge as, as of now. It is on the same bridge as the Network Service Mesh Community Work Group meeting. So please feel free to join us. It's right before this one. And. Uh, with that, uh, we also have some uh, some additional followers on uh, on LinkedIn. We have seven additional followers, and we cross posted everything from Twitter onto link uh, to LinkedIn. Uh, there are some plans to to post more about the sponsorship for NSM Con EU, so you should see some information on that. And uh, when the contributor podcast comes out, then we will post that as well. Um, and with that, we, we don't have any hard items on the agenda. Is there anything that anyone would like to discuss? Uh, I would like to call for an update on what's going on with SRLV. I know that the three people that are kind of you know interested and in driving this are on the call now. So maybe some I don't know, update if you want me, I can open the PR or whatever, just, uh, I think it's it's a really important feature that a lot of people are, are interested in, so any form of update would be useful. Hey guys, uh, Shamek from Intel here. Uh, yeah, so uh, some short update for me, so uh, I finally managed to find some time to work on that PR, uh, which is... Uh, Huge success by itself. Uh, anyway, uh, I updated this PR today. Um, I, basically, I revised on top of the latest master. Uh, that's the first update. Uh, beyond that, um, I introduced the uh, new connection mechanism API for SRLV user space and uh, started working on the implementation on the on the forwarder side as well. Uh, and also started working on the graceful uh, release of the uh, virtual function after it's uh, no longer needed. Uh, beyond that, made a couple of changes in regard to uh, fixing some issues reported by uh, CI. Obviously, the inter still fails us. Uh, there are some to-dos in the code. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's about it. Uh, I managed to find some time to, to work on that. So. Hopefully, we'll continue to work on that as well in the following days. Hey, per per 
Prismic, this, uh, th this is Ryan um, I'm with Susa. I've been meaning to reach out to you. Um, haven't had a chance yet. Um, I guess while we're here, uh, what what can I uh, jump in on to help you with this to help it move forward? Where is, is there anywhere that you could use some help? Uh, well, um, the biggest challenge I think now, uh, something that I haven't really started working on yet, uh, would be the the client side uh, stuff. So, for example, the NSM in its uh, side sidecar uh, needs to properly request a SRLV interface. So currently on the, the master branch, uh, there's a lot of hard-coded stuff in there uh, that doesn't allow for that. And what's currently included in the PR, it's also kind of hard-coded at the moment to request those SRLV interfaces. So we need some um, higher level generic mechanism that will allow us to, to request uh, any supported type of mechanism, let it be a SRLV interface or kernel interface or VPP or, or whatever, right? Uh, so currently this is the biggest challenge and uh, something that I haven't started working on yet and I could use definitely some help uh, on that. Oh. Okay, uh, yeah. Did, um, you, you'll, ha you'll have to forgive me because I'm, I'm still trying to orient myself here. Um, you, you envision that refactoring coming in the form of a separate PR from what you have, or um, were you thinking that needs to get added to the PRs that you already have out there, or? Um, I... Uh, well, uh, at the end of the day, uh, we probably have a number of PRs uh, related to that because even at this stage, you can even see currently what uh, Nikua is sharing. There's over 1,300 lines uh, added in this PR, so we should definitely break it. Uh, separate PRs uh, already have uh, four commits, uh, first three of them um, relate to uh, various sections, right? So, for example, the first one is related to the to adding connection mechanisms to the uh, forwarder API. Then we have uh, SRLV forwarder itself, and then we have some additional uh, commit that uh, adds changes in the SDK, webhook, and so on. But these are temporary and uh, more of a proof of concept changes that uh, we definitely have to refactor. So, um, I don't know. It's just a matter of preference at the moment. Uh, Probably at this stage, it would be easier to keep everything in a single PR, uh, to have a single, uh, let's say, place uh, to cooperate on that. But once we once we are happy with what we developed, uh, we'll definitely have to break it into smaller PRs uh, to make the reviews and so on easier. That's my opinion, at least. I'm also new here, so maybe there are some smarter people on the bridge. <laughs> Smarter probably I, not, but yeah, <laughs> go ahead. But but yeah, but my my feeling is um, it, I, I actually kind of take a different approach to this. If if we're looking for some collaboration and to get some traction here amongst uh, a number of developers, um, it might make sense to figure out how we can break apart what you have into smaller, more consumable PRs, um, but. Uh, maybe I'm in the minority here. I, I don't know what others are thinking right now, or maybe Prismic, you <laughs> feel strongly for a, a reason that I'm not aware of. So I have some advice on this as well. Uh, that they can, where if uh, if Prismic's not ready for immediate help because of current state, uh, something that could use some help is uh, potentially where. So we're migrating things from the network service mesh primary repo into an SDK, a set of SDK repos. And one of the repos is an SDK dash kernel repo. And uh, a lot of the things that uh, need to be done in the SRILV use case are done exactly the same way as you would in the kernel space. Uh, for example, like how do you set an IP on a on a interface if if you're using a kernel mode, is, and how do you set routes and so on? And so mm -hmm. my my recommendation uh, would be uh, uh, until uh, until he's ready for uh, additional help on the P on the PRs and patches uh, might might be to help with the SDK dash kernel getting it into a good 
state and uh, helping with uh, with that because the moment that uh, that this particular patch comes out, one of the things that we're uh, that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to move create an SDK dash SRLV repo, and yep. that can depend on things or when we compose when we compose the uh, the SRLV uh, uh, plug the runnable plugin, then we will be able to inter to interlace the the two things together and not get uh, duplication of code. So that that may be an area where where, where you may help and. Uh, I believe there's people on this call who are working on that SDK dash kernel and can speak more as to whether whether they need help in that space here as well. I had chatted with Ed about this yesterday. Um, I was actually going to take a crack at that. Um, I don't know if anyone else is um, uh, working on that. Um, I may be um, out of the loop there, uh, but um, I I was actually going to start looking at that. Um, to go along with this. So if that's, if that's useful, um, and sounds like this kind of dovetails with, uh, uh, SRIOV work, uh, I, I guess I'll just focus my efforts there right now. And, um, yeah, for pr uh, just, yeah, when, when you're ready, reach out. Um, yeah, sure. We can think even offline on Slack or, and else and involve Radosov probably as well, I think. So, um, yeah, and and we'll we'll sync off uh, we'll sync offline on the SDA, SDK kernel stuff. And what we'll do is we'll we'll make sure that uh, things are populated in that project board that we posted in the announcement section. We'll make sure that those things get populated there as well, and we'll we'll see if there or we can find an easy way to label them or to make it clear that this is stuff in the in the kernel or uh, or other uh, projects as well, I guess, or other other sub repos. Okay, at least uh, my um, my 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 point of view here for 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 this PR is that this is a, a very 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 experimental for the time being. Um, I get that. Uh, I also get that it slowly is is kind of taking shape and. Uh, getting uh, into some form that can be merged. I would really prefer if we can have this split it into smaller, at least, chunks, um, or keeping the co commits in as a separate PRs also can be a thing. Uh, so thank you, Jemek, for uh, taking care to keep these things uh, separate and well formatted like this. Um, I get what you said about uh, improvements in the way that we handle different mechanisms. Um, this probably should be a separate uh, PR that's not related to this one, from what I can tell. Um, what I probably would like to see is because you like you have these ideas, et cetera, et cetera. And maybe it would make sense if we have this somewhere described, like uh, we used to do these um, specs, uh, et cetera. Um, like things that are here. Uh, so, Maybe if you just uh, take some time, I know that it's uh, it's hard for you to, to schedule this, but uh, if you can share your uh, ideas of what you would like to see, um, maybe we can have, um, and just, just drop it in a uh, Google Doc, uh, and then we can share it here. Um, probably we have some, some common place where we can discuss these ideas. Um, because I agree that seeing code is 
is the best. Um, but maybe before we go and delve into code, uh, we need to, 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 to discuss the ideas. Uh, otherwise, it could be we kind of we can end up some losing time in doing things that not that don't get upstream. Mm -hmm, sure, uh, take some time and prepare uh, some sort of design spec or, or something well, like that. Yeah. It, do, it doesn't need to be anything formal, etc. Mm -hmm. Just just dumping your brain and saying, okay, I see that this goes here, this goes there. We need, we have these and these gaps in the existing code. That's that's uh, that's something that we can then uh, share here in this work group call and uh, talk to it. Or, uh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. I'll try to prepare something before the next. Thank meeting. you. Thank you. Yeah. That will be yeah. that. That will be very, very helpful. And yeah. then from there we can we can figure out issues, assign to people that want to do this, and try to move this forward. It's really really exciting. I'm sure that a lot of the people that are here on the call and probably will be watching this are going to be excited about all this work, and everyone is anxious to, to get this upstream as soon as possible. Um, saying this, and also. Uh, um, taking uh, like this idea for having a spec into account. Uh, can you please consider if, if, if you're not able to share this now uh, to, to dump your thoughts on what is missing and how we want to change or you want to change uh, like the upstream SRA will be device plugin because I know that there's there were some things going on there, some changes that we wanted to, to happen, some things that you did in your private branch. So. I'm not sure what's the status there regarding this, but at least if you see any other gaps that and things that that needs to be improved there, maybe this could be something that that we can also talk about and think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, regarding the SRV network device plugin, I, I opened uh, a new pull request uh, in, the net, in the SRV network device plugin repository yesterday. Uh, mm -hmm. I think I linked it uh, uh, somewhere in the comments under the PR. Yeah, yeah one. that one. Yeah, correct. Okay, yeah, I still need cool. to fix uh, tests uh, in that PR. As you can see, there's there some small to-dos. Uh, but yeah, this is the, the accompanying mm -hmm. PR that uh, mm -hmm. I definitely have, have it merged uh, before uh, NSM, is, NSM PR is merged right now. So. Uh -huh. I see. So, yeah, it should so be in place before we need it. These are kind of changes that were more or less influenced by the work that you do with us. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, do you have anything else that's in the pipeline or this is all for now? And uh, this is all for now. Uh, some time ago I discussed with that uh, possibility to also add something like new mechanism there for um, automatically binding and unbinding uh, mm -hmm. devices yeah. from, the, from the kernel modules. Mm -hmm. uh, for the moment, I don't think we need it. Uh, maybe at some point in the future, it would be a nice addition, uh, but it's definitely not needed to, to progress uh, PR for NSM at the moment. I do, I do agree, yeah. 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 Let's make this work and then we'll make improvements. Okay. Uh, okay, I think that we are uh, in the half hour of the call and we had a good chat about this. Uh, anyone else have any questions or any any uh, thoughts about this uh, this work? Any suggestions? Any expectations? So, just for the people who are working on this stuff, uh, this is one of the most uh, asked for features. So, thank you all for for helping on this. Like. Uh, I can't begin to describe how much uh, this is going to make a lot of people very happy. If we don't have any other questions, uh, uh, you may be on mute if you're trying to say something. Uh, but uh, if there are no other questions, um, are, is there any other topics that anyone else would uh, would like to discuss?
Okay. Um, and one last thing, we'll see about putting together some good uh, information uh, made through, through either a blog post or a video on the new NSM SDK that we're putting together. It's a, it's a very simple mechanism, uh, but it's uh, but it's uh, proving to be very powerful in terms of composability and uh, testability. And if you would like to jump in sooner or later, and you're looking for something to get started with as a as a first thing, uh, most of the uh, modules uh, that we that we've posted are uh, in need of unit tests, and so that's a great way to learn how the new SDK uh, works. So if you're willing to hop on and uh, write unit tests up on any of these things, that that would be hugely hugely helpful. Um, and if you want any information or help getting started with that, let us know and we'll help you out. And with that, I don't have anything else on the agenda. Uh, if anyone, uh, last call for any additional items. Okay. Well, with that, I want to thank everyone for your time and we will see you next week at the same time or possibly earlier at 7 30 a.m a.m pacific time if you're joining us for the issues and pr meetings thank you much thank you very much everyone and we'll see you next week bye bye, Cheers, bye. thanks bye thank you see you bye